any game designers will tell you you need a game design document. I have a player, a block, and a ball. The ball hits the player. Then the ball hits the block. The block explodes. Then we do this all over again. I've codenamed this my game plan. I started by opening up Unreal Engine. Let's also not forget to give the game an incredibly unique title. Now I could somehow make a breakout clone that's on an open world map, but I think that's insane. So let's just make a new map. We're gonna need a paddle for the player to control. So let's get that set up. And now that we have the paddle, we need to prevent it from flying off the screen. So let's build out our level. I don't like how the paddle just bounces off the walls. It feels a little floaty to me. Is floaty a word? You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. After a ton of trial and error, I finally adjusted the linear drag and got something like this. So now that we have the paddle sorted, we need something to bounce around. So I quickly made a ball, and in Unreal I made the ball a projectile, so I assumed it would projectile. But... No. One eternity later. So after figuring that out, I finally got the ball to bounce around like this. Uh. Then this happened. I'm not really sure what that is, but after what seemed like forever, I finally landed here. Now as cool as this bouncing ball is, I made a block and then I filled the level with blocks. Now it's real easy to remove a block when you hit it, but at this point I realized I was lacking something. Explosions. No, I said explosions. Now, as cool as these explosions are, we need better graphics. So I went into Blender and I modeled a better block. I imported that into Unreal Engine, set up some materials, and then added the block to the level. Now I need to improve the paddle. Have you ever felt like things are going really well and then something like this happens? I need the level to be more beautiful. The next big challenge was figuring out how to let the player know that the block was getting closer to destruction. So I decided to have it change colors every time you hit it with green being the last color. The game is super hard, so I just scrapped the whole idea of having multiple lives but you needed some way to want to play the game. So I added a high score and a multiplier for every block that you hit without letting the ball drop, you get more points. So I've kind of finished the game loop here and I've realized something. The game isn't fun. Okay, I added an incredibly lame title and one last ditch effort to make the game fun. But this is the reason why game developers prototype games, because you want to make sure you make a fun game, and if, if you make something fast, you can find out if it's fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Why don't you put in the comments below what game you'd like to see me remake next in Unreal Engine using RTX. Don't forget to give it a like, and we'll see you next time.